guys today we got for you the uh this is a 2010 kia forte engine computer 2.0 um four speed automatic and it's a sim 2k 141 engine computer um this is actually the donor unit um there's a variant in the part number so this is a 92 uh, but the original one is a 91. we've already got this open very simple to open this ecm you just pry it up on these tabs stick a screwdriver just to the rim you never want to go inside you will break damaged components on the board and you pry until you get it up very sticky stuff and there it is this is what it looks like inside as you can see sim 2k 141 and um, we're going to be doing using a uh, fox slash for this job uh, available on our website globalcarmacy.com and um, we're going to be using bdm mode for this and that's going to be using these BDM pads right here. And BDM stands for background debugging mode. So that's a way to enter into the CPU and pull the, da the data directly from the CPU, right? MCU. And you'll find what you need in your package inside of your Fox Flash. Uh, remember, we're the largest distributor for Fox Flash in the U.S. Get yours today. Both units, original and donor side by side. So you can see they are identical. So inside of here... Um, what you're going to need is the uh, silver ribbon cable or gray ribbon cable and the actual BDM. Um, I'm going to show that to you here in a second. I already pulled it off. I went ahead and fast things. Um, I went ahead and soldered it up to the board. Your kit, you will find these here. And these are the correct spacings, uh, format rather, for the BDM connection. So what you're going to do is cut it at five. And by the way, this is where our flush cutters come in handy to do precise work like this. So you'll basically count it at five and you're gonna snip it right at the fifth uh, pin. So just like that. So you should look like that, five and five. On these BDM pads, what's important to note, as you can see, the MCU is here and the pads are here. Now, the first two pads, let me get that in focus. These first two right here, nearest to my finger are not used so pads one and two would be the next one you see where it has a porthole there that's pad one and then that is two three four five six seven eight nine ten total of ten pads so just remember these two you can just think of it as they're not even there at all so you're going to start with pin one at that porthole right there and pins two and three by the way are common ground so they're actually bridged together on the um, on this board and also on the Fox Flash. That's also a quick way to identify what side is on because if you tone out pins two and three, they should be, uh, you should have a link between them using a multimeter. Guys, we're shipping everything out for you. We remember we got the coupon sale going on right now for the uh, Ultimate CAN Bus Tester. We got them in stock, everything for you. New staff, guys. So I got uh, with me right here. Josh. Josh, <laughs> Josh, okay. Josh, he's uh, more on the technical side. Tell him a little bit about your background and kind of stuff you did. Engines. Oh, man. So I've built engines. I'm actually, what do you do with the crankshafts? I'm the youngest certified crankshaft grinder in Houston. Man. Okay. I don't do anything like that. Measuring by the thousands of the inches butter to me. <laughs> All right, this guy, he's expert. He also worked in the auto parts industry. So, hey, man, I'm pulling the best of the best, man. We're improving things. We're getting things moving. You might see him on some of the other videos. He's going to be out in the field as well. He's helping with the technical side, support on you guys' orders. I told you, man, globalcommerce.com is the future of automotive technology, man. Uh, also, we got here at the desk. Hi, I am Anne Marie with Global Commerce. I am shipping orders, to a lot of it. <laughs> yeah, so she's handling, she's going to be more on the processing customer service. So there's a customer service number. You're probably going to see it here shortly. And you might be speaking with her directly anytime you do your orders. She's also probably one of the first persons you communicate with emails, all that kind of stuff. Guys, things are improving here. We're growing. Um, definitely don't forget. We got the G3s by the mountains, guys. Pounds, kilos, however you want them, guys. We got them in stock. Coupon code right now, $60 off. Definitely go get yours today right now. $30 off too right now on your OBD Star P50s. Available right now, guys. Get on it right now. Don't forget, we're the number one distributor in the U.S. for Fox Flash. We got them in stock as well, guys. Get on it right now. Everything you need, we got it available at GlobalCommerceA.com. GlobalCommerceA.com is automotive technology, period, point blank. So here we are in Fox Flash. Uh, what we're going to be going is to 
you see that JTAG BDM uh, JTAG mode. So we're going to go over there and click on that. And then we're going to select here um, JTAG BDM MPC. And this chipset is MPC 5556. We can click the info button here and that is going to bring up our information. So uh, on the left hand side here, you want to want to scroll down to SIM2K 140 and then it will bring up this. You can pause through this and read it as you need. And as you can see, there's our uh, MCU, engine MCU. Let's scroll down. Here is the pinout. So all we're going to hook up is a power and ground to power up the unit while we can so we can read it. OK, uh, powers and grounds. And here is the actual pinout for the BDM. Um, so as I showed you, these two right here are not used. Then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, just like that. And that's it. So I went ahead and advanced it. By the way, we'll be offering this BDM frame on our website, globalcommerce.com. Check it out. In this case, I want to solder it up. Um, it's uh, Here's the cable, by the way, that you will be using, and it connects right here to the BDM port on the box flash. And here is the uh, board that you will be using. As you can see, it's uh, 3319, right? And as you can see right here. By the way, both of these ports are identical. Uh, they're just a different form factor. These are wider pins, uh, which would actually work better for this board. And these are closer together for a different form factor. And as you can see, pin one is designated by this little corner here. And it's also right there. Um, and as you can see, the cable goes right here, red stripe on this side, right? Um, we've already went ahead and soldered it up to the pads. Let me see if I can get you to see that. Yeah, you can somewhat see it right there a little bit. So um, that's ready to go. So we can apply power to the unit by just flicking on the on switch right here as it goes directly into the Fox Flash. So now we're going to go back on to the actual program. All right, back to the program. So we're going to tell it, OK, we've selected that chipset, got everything connected up and it's telling us you can always need to pay attention here so you can see how you should connect. That's very important every time you try to connect. Now we're going to hit connect since we have, I'm going to turn it on. I forgot to turn it on and we hit connect. Let's see if we might have to retry since I didn't actually turn it on, but yep, it's able to read. It is connecting. And there it is. We connected. You can see our flash right there. So we're going to go ahead and do a read all. And I'm going to make a folder for this. All right, I'm just going to call it 10 Forte. Tell it to save. You can hear the relays clicking on the Fox Flash, and reading is in progress. As you can see, our BDM voltage is defaulted at 3.3 volts. I'll bring it back in a second. You can see the time down there in the bottom right corner. Uh, right, we're right at 80, 91%. And you can see up here our activity in and out uh, to the uh, Fox Flash unit, 97. All right, and we're done right at two minutes. Turn off the power. And I just flick the switch and tell it OK. And that's it. We've got our backup of this ECM. Now we've got a video on also changing the VIN number in this ECM. Definitely go back and check my previous videos. Search on Global Commerce. Just search Global Commerce SIM 2K 141 and you'll see that other video pop up. And I'll show you step by step on how to do that. Now all we're going to do is desolder. We're going to remove this BDM connector and then we're going to now place it onto the donor unit. Do the same steps as we just did. We're going to hit connect on the donor unit. Then we're going to select write all, select our file we just backed up. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, I just used hot air to go ahead and pull that off. And here is the part number and everything of the original, upside down, of course. You should also always make sure your part number matches when you're doing this because they can be close, but there's variants of this ECM and it'll be different inside. 
In this case, I knew the trailing digit being two, uh, just is a change in the flash, which is not a major deal. So uh, the board is actually identical. So we just connected the donor unit. I'm gonna back it up anyway. It's not necessary. All we need to do is write, but I just like to do that. I back up everything. All habits die hard. So I'm gonna do that really quick and bring you back. All right, now we're going to go ahead and do write external flash. And we're going to select uh, the original flash there that we did. Double click on that. I've already put power to the uh, engine computer. I'll go ahead and tell it yes. Shouldn't be necessary in this case, but let's let it do its thing. We didn't make any modifications. Writing in progress, as you can see, right at 10 seconds. I'll bring you back. All right, right at 91%. As you can see, we're right at two minutes in the right. All right, and that is it. Turn the dashboard off and wait until it enter. All right, and that is it. Now we have a successful clone. I'm gonna desolder this and seal this unit back up and deliver it to the customer. And now he has two ECMs. Now, if his diagnosis was correct and his problem was related to the ECM, he should not experience the same problem. Now, if he still has a fault, I can't remember what he said the fault was. Of course, he's gonna experience the same problem with this engine computer. So uh, if anything, I'll update you guys on what his response is.